Hello. Hi. I'm Dr. Peasley. Don't be alarmed. Um, you were attacked by a death claw, and one of the settlers found you and brought you here so that I could examine your uh, brain to uh, discover the extent of your injuries. Um, I know you probably don't remember much about the incident. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the last thing you remember is sitting on your couch at home. But I assure you that uh, it did happen, just like I said. And the reason you're restrained right now is because you're uh, very seriously injured. And I, I, I would hate for you to injure yourself further. So. Um, it's for your own safety. Okay, so uh, I'd like to discover the extent of your injuries, and uh, let me let me take your vitals. Okay, okay. listen to your heart. Hmm. Oh, your heart's beating really fast. Uh, let's, uh, let's do some calming breathing together, okay? And, and I'll listen to your lungs at the same time. I'll, I'll do it with you. Okay, we're going to go in. Inhale through your nose. And then exhale through your mouth. Okay, good. Okay. In through your nose. Sounds good. Um, no rattle or anything. That's that's really excellent. Okay, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take your blood pressure. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a doctor. I've been a, been a doctor for a long time. Before the apocalypse, even. Just get your arm away. Um, I wasn't actually that kind of doctor, but you know, I think any of us have really expected what happened. Uh, you probably don't do what you used to do before the apocalypse, right? Amazing what you can learn from books. Blood pressure usually a little low. Yeah, mine too. All right, now what's got you in today is that uh, you've actually got this very serious-looking bump um, right here on your head. Uh, it's the, you know when you get struck by a rock or whatever. 
whatever you hit your head on when the, uh, when the creature attacked you. So uh, I want to check out your reflexes and your and your eyes in particular and see if you have a, a concussion. Have you ever have you ever done a concussion test before? Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do is. Uh, gonna first feel your skull and make sure very gently make sure that uh, you don't have any spots that feel like you have a fractured skull okay. is that sore there is there anywhere else that's tender does your neck hurt mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Check is your pupil dilation. Um, make sure that works. Okay. I'm just gonna shine a, li shine a light in your eyes and uh, make sure that your pupils responding correctly. Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay. So here's the light. the tip of my finger with just your eyes, okay? Okay. Good. All right. Great. Great. Uh, so, so here's the thing. Um, got that big knot on your head and uh, what I'm concerned about is that your brain could be damaged underneath and um, so you could develop some kind of brain cloud like a uh, brain fever could be just horribly fatal uh, if we don't remove the, the lump right away and 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 uh, uh, take care of that bit of brain that could be damaged um, let me show you what I'm talking about I have this brain human brain. It's not a real one, it's a model. The real ones are actually much, much larger. They're like heavier than you'd imagine them to be. Uh, anyway, uh, this part right here, uh, this is your prefrontal cortex. Um, you have two sides of your brain and uh, I think it would be necessary just to just to remove the prefrontal cortex on that side. So it's delicious. It's, I mean, uh, it's not a. It sounds uh, scary, but you have this one, and. Uh,
necessary to your survival. So, um, we'll just, we'll just pop it out, lickety split, and, uh, and, uh, and patch it right up. And I've already given you a sedative, so, uh, it's, you just stop screaming. Um, we'll get right to it, okay? So, um, just gonna give you a little just gonna give you a little injection and you'll go right under. 